hope this red shirt's not burning everybody's retinas out. All right, y'all, been driving about an hour and a half, and I got about an hour and a half to go. I'm headed to land between the lakes. We're loaded down, and I'm happy to be out. I'm tired of sitting in that house, and this is my kind of weather. It's gonna be a little bit cold, been warm during the day, and I've never been to land between the lakes, so this'll be a new one, but I'll catch you down the road when we get closer. Making a little quick stop here at the uh, Jefferson Davis Memorial. If you're a Civil War buff and you're into history, this is a pretty cool little thing to see. Like, I'm keeping that ass. <laughs> Some little shit kid grabbed my GoPro, took off running with it. Well, I finally made it in, got all my permits taken care of. Uh, now I just need to find a good place to camp. And that's what I'm hunting right now. In 800 feet, turn left onto Kentucky 453 North. I need to get camp set up because I'm freaking hungry. So I found a camping spot. There's a few people here. I got a nice view of the lake in the morning. Around me up some firewood. So it looks like a pretty good spot. I'll show it to you. Right now I am starving to death. I'm just happy to have a place to crash out. <clears throat> Eat that chicken Alfredo mom sent. And then later on I'll cook. I'm making hot dogs and chili tonight. Looks cozy, don't it? Let's camp for the night. It's probably my favorite camping setup. Sleeping in the back of this truck. I love cooking over the fire. We're camping. You ain't gotta make chicken cordon bleu, you know? Make camping food. Does that look good? I'm gonna wolf it down. It's not as tight as it looks, really. Once I get the tailgate shut, it might be. There noises in the woods. Chase the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. <laughs> I just hope I don't burn a hole in my top here. <laughs> so I'm just uh, chilling out in the back of the truck right now and uh, just uh, drinking coffee. It's a little bit cold. It's about 49 degrees. It's not too bad. Just trying to get woke up and figure out what I'm going to do today. But yeah, cooking back here wasn't bad. It didn't melt the roof. So we survived that. 
We'll get away without any damage. I'm going to plan out a little, uh, hey, you know what? We're just going to hit these back roads and we're going to mark them with uh, the Gaia. I'm just going to cover as much ground as I can. I camped next to a cemetery last night, so that could explain all the ghosts and weird noises I heard last night. The reason why you see a lot of uh, old barns and stuff around here, because there's a lot. There's a lot of old barns, old farmsteads. I think there's a remnants of an old town. Um, this place was flooded by TVA. There's an old uh, dilapidated barn back there. And on up here, there's an old house. Anyway, I'm at a little wildlife viewing area. And it's probably better in the more early in the morning. Squirrels everywhere out here. Some big squirrels. Like small dogs. That little mud hole dropped off pretty good right there, so I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna risk it any further. If I had a winch, totally would. I do got the lockers. I could probably make it, but it's that's some really soft mud. So we'll just back on out of here. I gotta go get some gas anyway. This is how you get away from the tourists. And I say this in every video. <laughs> Y'all probably get sick of me saying the same old thing. You find these little kind of rough gravel roads, then you ain't gonna have the car people won't be here. And you see right here, people. This is the 
main attraction, Kentucky Lake. been driving out here. It's like tracks maybe on the in these rocks. damaged pretty heavily by a tornado we had back in the summer. Came through here. It's kind of creepy back here. It's kind of seems kind of creepy and abandoned. I tell you, I can't get enough riding these back roads over here this day this day's gone by way too fast This trail is a little rough. I mean, it's possibly even a side-by-side -side trail. <laughs> it looks like that's all it's been on it. It's pretty tight, pretty tight trail. So uh, I found a camp spot for the night. I haven't actually been there yet, but uh, I went ahead and I reserved one online. I'm on the north end of the LBL and I'm gonna head south, explore it for a little bit while I get a little bit of daylight lamp. It's, uh, uh, it's about 4.15 central time. So I'll go down here and check out my camp and just explore close by there. All right, y'all, guess what I did? Got a cabin. I wanted a cabin, wanted to see what they were like. This ain't bad at all, actually. Yeah, so I'm gonna get my stuff in here and we'll get comfortable. Just grill me up some uh, breakfast for supper.
This is uh, Cedar Ponds right off the road. It's a pretty little stop, a little picnic area. Shut off the main road that goes north from top to bottom of uh, LBL. Well, I couldn't come to Land Between the Lakes and not film the bison. They have a huge bison uh, viewing range here, but uh, they all seem to be content just hanging out with the, with the food. I'm on the east side of the land between the lakes. Oh, and I just pulled a muscle. Anyway, this looks like a great spot to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. And push all the buttons and do all the things. All right, see you later.